Sorry. Hi, guys. Um, sorry, I'm adjusting y'all. Anyway, um, sorry I didn't do a video Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday, I was out driving. Wednesday, I was out walking. Uh, I'm trying to lose some weight. You don't want to know how much I weigh. I, I'm not that big compared to how you've seen me in my past videos. But anyway, um, I'm thinking about doing something like every week, like a theme or whatever. So, but these three days in a row, well, not three days in a row. So, I'm just starting it today. Well, probably Friday and Saturday. I don't know. But three days in a row um, is going to be book and movie reviews. I know how much y'all liked my trick-or-treat one of the uh, book, but wasn't really a book. It was just like a book about the movie, like all the pictures and all that, and the movie itself. So I will keep doing those. It's just uh, um, I can't remember which one was my last one I did, but yes, I will still keep doing those. But today I'm actually going to do one, but three days in a row. Today is going to be like... Um, Two of them are like fairy tales, but modern ones, and then one of them's a really heartbroken one, but I think it's really good. But anyway, I'm starting with the first fairy tale, and, um, oh yeah, I forgot to say, um, about my Q&A intro, thank you to the two people who already asked me questions. Hopefully I will get more, so to all my subscribers out there, up there, in my subscription box, hopefully y'all will ask me some questions. I did send some to people that were not subscribed to me, but also were sort of... So, yeah, hopefully, my guy friend, I will link his channel down in the bottom bar. He's one funny guy. I swear, he's one funny guy. I have him, like, in two classes, PE and my English class. So, yeah, you will see his channel, and, yeah, I will link it down in the description bar below. Anyway, on to the review. Um, I give the movie, well, <laughs> it's Beastly, the book by Alex Flynn, and the movie... Starring Vanessa Hudgens, um, Alex Petty for Woo, and Mary Kate Ashley Olsen, and also Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris is in here, and he's like a teacher and all that. And I don't know who else is in this, but that's completely, totally, somewhat famous. But anyway, um, basically, uh, I'll I'll do the book first because you probably if you if y'all have read the book, it's sort of not like the movie. Now we'll discuss that. I am a beast, a beast, not quite wolf or bear, gorilla or dog, but a horrible new creature who walks upright and I'm, uh, walks upright, I am a monster. You think I'm talking, you think I'm talking fairy tales? No way. The place is in New York City, this time now, it's not, def it's not, def deformative, I don't know, deformity, deform, deform, it. Deformity. Deformity? No, it's no deformity, no disease. And I'll stay this way forever, ruined until I can break the spell. Yes, the spell. The one that the witch in my English class cast on me. Why did she turn me into a beast? Who, who hides by day and prowls by night? I'll tell you. I'll tell you how I used to be Kyle Kingsbury. The guy who, the guy you wished you were. With money, perfect looks, and the perfect life. And then I'll tell you how I became perfectly beastly. So, yeah. So, basically, the book itself is about a guy named Kyle Kingsbury. But in the movie, they change his last name to, I don't know. But in the movie, they change his last name for some reason. But, yeah. um, Sorry. <laughs> Getting distracted. Um, but yeah, the movie, uh, the movie, the book, sorry. The book is nowhere near the movie. In the movie, he has, like, these tattoos and veins. Not tattoos. Yeah, tattoos and some staples in his head. But you basically, you can see it on the cover on him. But in the book, he is so much like the beast off of uh, Beauty and the Beast. But a lot of, but yeah, I sort of like the book, so I give it, like, mm, five stars. It was okay, but it was so much like Beauty and the Beast. If they detailed it like the movie, it would have been completely perfect. It would have been on my good reading, my good reading, but no, it's not on my good reading. So, yeah, and later on in the book, um, like, there's this, like, chat little thing I think was, I thought was really neat. And it's between Beastly, Mr. Anderson, Froggy from Froggy and the Prince, um... Silent Maid, like, Silent Mermaid, and then Grizzly Guy. Um, Book and Musical of 18 Melody, she did a review on this, and she didn't know who Grizzly Guy was. I'm thinking that might be Tarzan, or the 
guy from the Jungle Book, if that was a Disney movie. But yeah, um, but yeah, the movie is, the book is nowhere near the movie, but the book is okay. I, like I say, it, the book is okay, so yeah. I'll go further detail into the movie. So, the movie itself, like I said, it's about a guy named Kyle something. And, um, he falls, he, there's this witch named Kendra in his class. And one night at a party, um, he makes fun of her because of her looks and all that. And then she turns him into this. But in the book, the big furry hairy beast. Um, sorry. Um. But then later on, he tries to learn, but she says, um, only true love can break this spell. So once you find the one, the spell will break. And, um, later on, he knows that his girlfriend is cheating on him with his best friend. So, no, no, no. No, no, no. Um, then he meets Lindy. Lin he meets Lindy. And Lindy is this normal, everyday girl, kind of like Belle. She's sort of, I, I don't know, it doesn't say in the book she's intelligent, like Bell or whatever, I'm not saying that Lindy is stupid, but whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, in the movie, um, she's like this normal girl, and then her father gets into this trouble, and then Kyle takes her away to her apartment, and then, um, basically he's like, basically before the movie, yeah, in the movie, um, he's like this real handsome guy, he's like the cocky guy at school. I have some of those at my school. Um, no biggie on that for any of those, any of girls who watch my channel and think there's some cocky guys out there. Yeah, there's some at my school just like that. So yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so, hit, so Lindy tries to fall for her, for her, her, and it's not really working. She's not taking any of his expensive gifts. She don't want them until he gets her these, like, candies she really, really loves. And, um, but she, but after she falls for him after the candy incident, he makes her, like, a greenhouse because she's so into flowers. And, like, there's, like, on the movie, there's, like, a tattoo on his wrist, like, right here on his wrist of like, oh, what was so funny was, there's this one part in the movie where it was Christmas time, and then the tree on his wrist turns into a Christmas tree, and I thought that was funny, it was cute, but funny, but yeah, so, it's like a modern day Beauty and the Beast, I loved, well, not love, love, but I sort of loved the movie, so, I can give it like, what, um, probably, I don't know, probably nine stars, yeah, I give it nine stars, and I give the book, Five stars. Compare the movie to the original Beauty and the Beast, the Disney one. Excuse me. The Disney one, yeah, you'll know what I mean. But compare this to nothing, and you would sort of like this. But, yeah, if you like Neil Patrick Harrison, he is... I said that right. Right. Um, if you like Neil Patrick Harrison, you would love this movie. But, yeah, it's really good. Uh, that was the back. But, yeah, I, li I sort of like this movie. I can't say I really loved it, but liked it. So, yeah, love this movie. Go check it out, and... You can go check out the book, too. So, yeah, that was my review, and I forgot to say, for those people who want to ask me questions, um, the day I put up that video, and then next month is when it ends. So, if anybody has any other questions before I end that video next month, whenever I put it up, like, when was that, like, the third, fourth, no, like, the second? So, next month on the second, I will end the Q&A intro video, whatever. That's just something I said. That's something I'd say and I forgot to put it in. Anyway, hope you guys like my review for Beastly, the movie, and the one by Alex Flynn. So, uh, if you make it confused, I will put Beastly, the movie, and Beastly by Alex Flynn on the title. So, yeah, you won't get that confused. But, yeah, hopefully you guys like my video. Bye!